Hi. The name of this Blender video tutorial is UV Textures Part 2, Rendering UV Textures. This is a continuation of the UV Textures Part 1 video tutorial. To demonstrate rendering of UV textures, I'm using the same Blender scene as we did in the last video tutorial. This consists of a wall object and two ball objects located on top of it. I've added a ground plane to the scene and I've textured the ground plane with a grass texture using Blender's built-in generated mapping coordinates. I have also added a bluish blended world background. The scene is lighted with a number of point lamps and is currently displayed in solid shading mode. I'll switch to texture display mode. As we saw in the last tutorial, the UV map textures are now displayed in the 3D editor. Notice, however, that the ground plane that has a grass texture applied to it using Blender's built-in generated mapping coordinates appears bright white when in the texture display mode. If you remember, the wall object has two texture coordinates assigned to it. The bottom faces have a brick texture and the top faces a granite texture. Each of the ball objects, ball 1 and ball 2, have a rough rock UV texture assigned to them. I'll render the scene. Note that only the ground plane texture, which uses Blender's built-in generated mapping coordinates, is rendered with a texture. The wall and the ball UV textures are not rendered. This is because although the UV mapping textures have been assigned to the faces of the objects, the UV mapped faces themselves have not been assigned to render textures. There are two methods for rendering objects with UV assigned textures, a fast and easy method and a detailed method. To demonstrate the fast and easy method, I'll select the wall object, go to the material editor, and add a new material. I'll name this material Wall. In the material editor, I'll scroll down to the Options panel and check mark Face Textures. I'll then render the scene. The UV map image textures on the wall object are now rendered. I'll select the Ball 1 object, go to the material editor, add a new material, name it Ball, check mark Face Textures in the checkbox in the Options panel, and render the scene. I'll select the Ball 2 object, go to the Material Editor, but instead of making a new material, I'll click on the Browse button to the left of the New button and select the existing Ball material. I'll then render the scene. Now all of the UV map textures are rendered using the fast and easy method. This method of rendering UV map textures works well in most instances. Because the UV face textures are assigned to a material in the material editor, we still have access to all of the material settings, adjusting the specularity, the shading, the transparency, mirror, and so on. However, the fast and easy method of rendering UV textures does have its limitations. For instance, the wall object has one material, yet two UV texture mappings, one for the lower brick wall and one for the cap granite. Since these UV texture mappings are not associated with individual material and texture channels, the single material channel settings affect both UV textures. The alternative method for rendering UV textures is to assign the UV texture mappings within the context of a texture channel. I'll select the wall object and go to the material editor and delete the existing wall material. I'll then add three material slots to the material editor for the wall object by clicking on the material channel plus signs. The first material slot in Blender material channel is the default for the whole object. I'll leave this channel blank. I'll select the second material channel, click on the new button, and name this material Wall Bottom. I'll select the third material channel, click on the new button, and name this material Wall Cap. In the 3D editor, I'll switch to Wireframe View, Z key, and then I'll tab into edit mode. 
The faces that make up the wall cap are already selected. In the Material Editor, I'll select the Wall Cap Material. Since the object is in edit mode, we now have a new set of controls in the Material Editor that allows us to assign object faces to a material channel. With the Wall Object Cap Faces selected, now note that these were the same faces that were UV mapped in the granite image texture, and the Wall Cap Material selected, I'll click on the Assign button. This assigns the selected faces to the wall cap material. I'll press the deselect button to deselect the faces. I'll then select the wall bottom material. In the 3D viewport, I'll select the four faces that make up the bottom of the wall object. These are the same faces that were UV mapped to the brick image texture. I'll then click on the assign button. This assigns the selected faces to the wall bottom material. I'll then press the Deselect button and tab out of edit mode. With the wall bottom material selected, I'll go to the Texture Editor and add a new texture. I'll name this texture Brick. Under Type, I'll select Image or Movie. In the Image panel, I'll click on the Open button and select the Brick JPEG image located in my UV Part 2 folder and click on the Open Image button. I'll scroll down to the Mapping panel and under Coordinates, I'll select UV. I'll then render the scene. The wall bottom material is rendered using the UV texture mapping coordinates we set in the last video tutorial. Because these faces now have their own material channel and their own texture channel, we now have the opportunity to use all of the texture settings and the material settings to adjust the wall bottom brick texture. This includes adding additional textures to this material, for instance a bump texture or a noise texture. Back in the material editor, I'll select the wall cap material channel. I'll then go to the texture editor and add a new texture. I'll name this texture Granite. Under Type, I'll select Image or Movie. In the Image panel, I'll click on the Open button and select the Granite JPEG image located in my UV Part 2 folder. I'll then click on Open Image. I'll scroll down to the Mapping panel. Under Coordinates, I'll select UV. I'll then render the scene. The wall cap and the wall bottom materials are rendered using the UV texture mapping coordinates we set in the last video tutorial.